Our Computex 2018 coverage is brought to you by Seasonic and ASRock. Check them out in the links below. Alrighty guys, we are back at the ASRock Computex suite and we are checking out the AMD side of things this time. Now first thing we'll jump to are their video cards over here. Now you've probably seen that, yes, ASRock are producing these AMD video cards all the way from your 580 down to the 570 and 560 and 550 over there. And now this one over here is the newest one which we haven't seen before. This is a Vega 56. Sort of uses a uh, ref wall, does use a reference design, but in this system over here, you can sort of see, it's gonna be hard on camera, but you can see the back plates. They are sort of customized. It does say the Phantom Gaming, which just adds that little bit extra to the card. And I did speak to the guys, and yes, they will be bringing out some Vega 60 ball variants as well. Now take a look at some of the AMD ASRock boards here. Once again, uh, nothing we probably haven't seen already. Uh, as we've seen, the latest is the X470. There's no uh, Threadripper 2 or anything. We've got the original X399 Tai Chi over here, and then moving on to the slightly newer X417. Now, this is the Master SLI. Uh, moving down over here, we have the X399M Tai Chi. I've used a few of these boards. I got one in the Seasonic build, and I got one which we'll show you later on in the in-wind build I use for the ASRock suite. Now moving down a bit lower, we have the X470 Tai Chi Ultimate. I really do like this board. It's really nice looking. We've got this really nice sort of uh, chipset cooling design. It just sort of stands out and it has a bit of shine to it on the edges. And then of course with this board, we have the uh, 10 gigabit uh, network adapter. I'm not sure how many AMD boards do, do have that, but it is pretty sweet that they're bringing up that. And then we also have the Polychrome RGB, which gives you the multi RGB effects up here and also the uh, 5 volt addressable digital RGB header over there. Now probably moving over to the latest boards, RDB450 uh, refresh. So this is basically just a refresh of the B350, more sort of the budget line of boards. And you can see they'll be in all the same form factors. You have the ATX, your MATX, and then all the way down over here, we have the ITX as well. Now lastly, from the ASRock booth, I just want to cover some of the mods. Now this is from my good buddy Mike Wang. Uh, he actually does work at ASRock and he's done a spectacular build here. This is all custom. This is a scratch build and you can just see the detail gone into this. And it's pretty obviously what this uh, build is designed around. It is of course designed around the Tai Chi theme. Really nice design. And as we go a little bit closer, we can just see how intricate this build is. And then it's also using the brand new uh, T-Force RGB Excalibur RAM over there. Now moving over to this bad boy here. Now you may have seen this one. We did a time-lapse build on this one and a bit of a showcase video. This is in the renowned Inwind Tau 2 case. You can just see it's picking up all the reflections. This case is just crazy. And that is using the X399M Tai Chi board. And you're probably wondering why I went with an MATX in the ATX case. Well, ASRock wanted me to show off this motherboard, the MATX, and I didn't really know of a good MATX case that would do justice, so I went with this full-size one and sort of decked it out with a really nice clean chrome setup. Uh, just moving on to some other builds over here. This one's here from uh, Phobia Mama. He's a, uh, or Phobia Mama, he's a modder in Japan. Really nice looking build here, and that's based on the Threadripper set up there. Very clean, went to a lot of detail here. That just looks really, really nice. Now moving over to the last build we want to check out. This is another one of my builds. I smashed this out very, very quickly because I was running out of time. This is my Phantom Gaming build. It's just sort of a funky little build based around the ASRock Phantom RX 580 video card. And as you can see, it's sticking in there. And then you've got the motherboard as well. That is the Fatality X470 Gaming ITX there. And we've got some of the new HyperX RGB memory. And we're going with a bit of a red theme. You can see it going on there. Just a real funky little build. Just sort of hardware thrown all around just to make it sort of look pretty cool. Anyway, that's it from the ASRock booth. Stay tuned for more Comitest coverage coming up.